The use of most common technologies can be a relatively passive experience for students. Diving into the complexity of technology often requires overcoming significant technical hurdles and building up a complex theoretical understanding. The degree to which students can achieve a required level of competence often determines the extent to which students can begin expressing themselves and their imaginations in a way that bolsters their confidence and their desire to learn. 3D printing technology has been around since the 1980s and both a streamlined workflow and an accessible culture have developed to support it. The wide availability of software and hardware related to 3D printing means that for students to develop a level of competence that allows for recognisable expression of their vision requires neither technical prowess nor esoteric knowledge. In this video, we'll consider the process of 3D printing as a whole, not solely the 3D printer on its own, as it is not functional without various pieces of design software. A 3D printer considered in isolation from this design process has little value in a classroom. We will discuss 3D printing as a tool for producing learning materials and for developing custom solutions to scientific problems. 3D printing is an ideal tool to introduce students to a range of skills and competencies, particularly in design-based subjects. However, in science, where the focus is primarily on learning concepts, the vast repository of pre-made printable designs means that teachers and students can download, manipulate and print parts and models to assist in their learning. That is, in science, 3D printing functions best as a tool for facilitating teaching and learning through the production of materials. In this capacity, it allows abstract scientific concepts to be linked to their real-world applications through tangible 3D representations, providing depth of knowledge and understanding. Building from this, particular aspects of the science curriculum call for design and manufacture, the most obvious case being the production of motors. 3D printing allows increased precision and accuracy when students are building prototypes and models. Many students' projects will fail to meet their purpose not for lack of vision, but due to construction difficulties. Whereas students are traditionally required to construct a motor out of parts they can source from around the house, 3D printing allows the production of customized parts that are fit for purpose. 3D printing is applicable in supporting the development of most quality teaching elements. However, it is particularly suited to those elements under the dimension of intellectual quality. Within this dimension, it is worth spending time on deep understanding and higher order thinking. In allowing the creation of physical objects, 3D printing assists in the representation of abstract concepts which ordinarily demand an innate capacity for complex spatial reasoning to properly conceptualise. This is particularly applicable in chemistry when investigating electron orbitals and ionic lattice structures. 3D printing is often portrayed as a revolutionary shift in manufacturing due to its capacity for structural complexity and the significant reduction in material waste during production. However, its real-world applications are limited due to its slow rate of production. It is important, therefore, for teachers and students to have a realistic understanding that 3D printing, like any tool, has its limitations and is not an all-encompassing solution in the world or in the classroom. From this perspective, students can come to understand that the modern scientific process is inherently tied to industrial and market needs, thus closing the gap between science's experience in the classroom and the reality of working as a scientist. Because of the versatility of 3D printing, it should be thought of as a tool for supporting assessments and lessons, rather than something that explicitly links to particular curriculum outcomes. Hence it can conform to almost any area of the syllabus. It should be obvious by this point that 3D printing provides almost unlimited opportunities for real-world connections. The processes and skills used in the printing of th physical objects are applicable to engineering, industrial design and scientific instrumentation, exposing students to the entire manufacturing process in microcosm.